Tom Abel and Louis Gregory defied Essex for more than an hour and a half in deteriorating light to secure a draw in the day-night pink ball game at Kelmsford as Somerset closed 168 runs adrift of their target of 319. The sixth wicket pair came together after Somerset had lost three wickets in 11 balls to collapse to 116 for five with just 20 of their 50 over allocation used up. But they put on a master class of patient, defensive batting with Abel finishing on 21 from 88 balls and the limpet like Gregory with a 90 ball 15 before the captains shook hands with one over left. The draw enabled Essex to cut by one point the gap to third-placed Somerset, who in turn are 22 points behind leaders Surrey. The denouement of the game was played out in front of the proverbial two men and a dog, but those present inside the Cloud FM County ground were rewarded when a proper contest finally broke out after a three-day run fest on a flat batsman-friendly pitch. Chasing at 6.4 and over, Somerset had made a promising start, rattling up 63 and 11 overs when Eddie Byram chanced his arm to Ryan Tendoshade and was run out by the direct hit from mid-on. Byram's 38, with six fours, had taken just 36 balls. Stephen Davies followed to the last ball before T when he was bowled by Harmer for 30 from 34 balls. Somerset required 244 in a final session of a scheduled 36 overs. They came out fighting after T, adding 21 runs in two overs, James Hildreth taking three successive fours off Neil Wagner, and George Bartlett launching Harmer for six to long off. The stand was worth 32 in four overs when Hildreth played on to Harmer for 19 from 15 balls. Bartlett continued the assault with a six-over long on, but next ball fell into the trap set by Neil Wagner, and top edge to Alistair Cook who dived forward at deep fine leg. Cook had returned to his more accustomed position in the slips in time for the next over, where he held on to an edge from Peter Trego to give Harmer his third wicket. Somerset had lost half their side and were still 203 runs from victory. Suddenly 319 looked a distant prospect. Bull and Gregory recognized that, and shut up shop accompanied by regular oohs and ahs from the fielders in close catching range. When the final hour was signaled at 8.18 p.m., Somerset were 138 for 5 and Wesley's off-breaks were briefly called into service. Essex, who led by 110 runs on first innings, declared for the second time in the game on 208 for 7. Nick Brown led the way for Essex, scoring 75 from 156 balls before he was 7th out 3 overs before Captain Tendo Shade called a halt. Brown shared a third wicket stand of 104 in 31 overs with Ravi Bopara, who recorded his third score above 50 in 4 innings during which time he has scored 284 runs. But once Bopara had departed for an 88-ball 58, Essex lost wickets at regular intervals on a flat track before they declared midway through the day, leaving Somerset a session and a half to bat. Dalm Bess ripped out the heart of the Essex batting with two wickets and four balls, and finished with 3 for 81 from 17 overs. Bopara, who had posted his third score over 50 in four innings with a dab to third man, was Bess's first victim. Failing to move his feet, Bo Paradolied the ball up to slip Lewis Gregory, who took the catch at the second attempt. Tendo Shade followed, playing around one that turned and going bold. Brown pushed best to long off for the single that took him to his second 50 of the game. It had taken 126 balls. But Bess had wicket number three when he sent down a faster and fuller ball that Adam Weeder was too late to jam his bat down on and was also bold. Alistair Cook, who had to wait until five wickets down before batting after missing the whole of the third day suffering with tonsillitis, lasted just three balls before lofting Peter Trego to Jamie Overton on the fine leg boundary. Brown departed to a catch at long off to an uncharacteristic slog before Harmer showed him how it was done three balls later, clearing the rope in the same corner of the sparsely populated ground. Harmer's big hitting carried Essex to their declaration with 30 runs from 27 balls.